Okay, people have been asking about the crochet cast on. This actually becomes your first row of like knitted work, so you don't end up having like with E wrap, we wrap and then we wrap back and then we knit over. With the crochet one, it actually becomes like your first row of the project, we'll say. So what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna face this towards me just to show you real quick. So if this is facing towards you, okay, you place your loop on just like you normally would, alright? And what you're gonna do is just don't get mixed up with your tail, so kind of get that out of the way if you need to. You're going to take your crochet hook and go into the loop that's on that first one. So see how I'm going into the loop? And then I'm going to reach for the working yarn and bring it up. So see, we're bringing it up and we're placing that on the next peg. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to reach into the loop, grab your working yarn, and put it on the next peg. So that's all you're doing. I mean, if you, it's kind of like basically like a, I think it's also called like a chain thing, a chain cast on. So it's all I'm doing is I'm working into there to grab my working yarn and bring it back up to create a loop to put on my next peg. It's looks it's kind of loose here because I'm facing it, but see that's all it's doing is it's creating. Let me turn it this way for you. It's just creating your first row, and you won't have to end up doing um. You wrap where you'd wrap and wrap back and then knit over. It becomes your first row. So again, when you're facing it, it's facing you. That's what I'm holding it this way. It's easier to show. You're taking your crochet hook, whatever size you need. It depends on the yarn you're using. You're going into, see, I'm going into this loop that was created and grabbing my working yarn. Make sure it stays on there. And grabbing my working yarn to bring it back up to create a loop. It's a lot easier when you're not doing it towards camera. So it's all I'm doing is creating that. And as you see, it's just creating your first row. So if you're working it around, you're going to go all the way around doing this. If you decide you don't, you don't want to work it around, you want to do a flat, you can still do it for a flat panel. But again, I'm going in, I'm grabbing it, and pulling it on the next one. Going in, grabbing the working yarn. Might get a little tug here to tighten it up. Grabbing the working yarn, bringing it up, and placing it on the next peg. As you can see, I mean, it's creating our first row. And we don't have to go back through as we would with E-Wrap and wrap it one way, wrap it the other way, and knit over. This is already our first row. So if we didn't want to do any more, you would just simply go back with your knitting and knit over like normal. And this would be your first row. So again, if you're looking at it, as you can see, we've got a loop on this one. So we're going to go into it. Okay? And we're going to find the working yarn. And you're going to try to loop it onto your hook. Like I said, it'll work faster when you're working on it yourself. See, we got it on the loop, and we bring it back up, place it on there. Okay, so again, going through the loop to grab the working yarn. And create that extra loop to put on the next peg over. So I'm hoping you can kind of see how that did. I hope this helps. I know it's probably not my best video, but I just wanted to show it's a really simple process once you get going on it. Because like I said, you're just going into the loop to find your working yarn and bring the loop up, basically. And again, like I said, if you wanted to, you would work your way back. You know, you would e-wrap or whatever thing you're going to want to do. If you got a purl, if you got a knit, you're just going to wrap them like normal. And this would be like your first row, so we would just knit it over. See, so then all I'm doing is I've already cast it on. This now becomes my first row. When I just e wrapped it and knit over, that would be like row one of a pattern. So you already have your cast on row done by doing the chain. I just wanted to show. So see, all you do is that, and then you can simply e wrap it like normal and continue on your merry little way doing whatever pattern you want to do. So I hope this helps. Like I said, it's just a quick tutorial just to show you kind of what you can do differently for casting on. If you prefer to grab the loops from inside and use that to go around versus e-wrapping. So I hope this helps.